Okay, you guys, so I applied it all over my hair and I'm about to put a bag on my hair and let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes or so. Hey girl, hey. I know my hair is looking a mess. Thank you. Yours too. Whew. We heading into Walmart right now to go get some hair products so we can do a deep conditioning hair mask on our hair. All right, y'all, without further ado, about to go inside and do what we need to do. All right, y'all, about to get a couple of avocado. Aloe vera plant. Banana. Mayo. Eggs. So I'm about to start mixing up the product. I got some bananas pre-cut. I got some aloe vera. I'm about to finish cutting that. Some avocado. I'm about to put some mayo and eggs in here and then blend everything up together. Hey you guys, it looks like a smoothie, but this is our finished product. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start applying this protein mask to her hair. Right now, her hair is super dry. Really? Fun. So is mine. Got a little curl texture still up in there, but it is super dry. Yes, ma'am, yes. No. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying this to our hair. her hair for a little bit but I got it all over her hair we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it all out and see how her curl texture is popping after this treatment Okay, you guys, so I applied it all over my hair and I'm about to put a bag on my hair and let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna rinse it out. 
this is how it's looking. Alright, all right. So Avi got her hair done. She had to have this heart, guys. She wanted it, and then she got a little bit more design right here on this braid. All right, you guys. Here's my hairstyle. I just dropped all the kids off at school. Well, the younger kids, the two older ones, they take the bus to school. But everybody's at school nonetheless. So I need to do Lily's and Ree's hair first. So I'm at the beauty store. I'm going to go in and grab the hair that I'm going to crochet in. Uh, it's going to be super simple. Leah and Ree, they are both very tender-headed. Leah, more tender-headed than Ree Ree. Sometimes I think Ree just be whining and crying because Leah do. But nonetheless, I'm going to go in and get some hair stuff. So I can have that ready to go so tonight I can do their hair. I think I'm just gonna get some of these jumbo twists. But the hair is really dark, so we do a 1B. Let me see the difference between these ones. And the other twists. So I want twists like this, but not this color. Leah's actually had a couple highlight pieces in this color before, and it was pretty cute. And this is four dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm not doing great, y'all. I'm just looking to see how much hair is in there. This is probably gonna be my best bet. I don't need many. Not about two. Got about 12 in there. So I think I'm going to do probably six to eight twists in their ponytail. So I'll probably just get two of these to be safe. I've been using this one in their hair and I really like it. But I see that they got a shine and jam black casserole. Black castor and flaxseed oil salad. I wonder how that one is. It's the same amount. I'm gonna get these two, y'all. If I don't like it, then I won't ever get it again. So I am leaving the beauty store. I've been wanting to purchase hair and hair products offline. I just really haven't found like a site that I felt that was real trustworthy or knew of anybody that bought stuff from offline. So I just never took the dive. Can y'all comment down below websites that y'all might go to to buy maybe hair or hair products. And then I might try it out because I hate going to some of these beauty stores in my state. I wish I could support uh, maybe a black owned hair, uh, you know, beauty business or something along those lines somebody that actually really knows our hair but that's neither here nor there i just wish i could support more black owned business when it comes to hair care i'm doing a protein treatment on leah's hair i'm gonna show y'all and because her and riri are so tender headed i'm just gonna show a couple clips as we progress through their hairstyle because girl they be crying and stuff and mm -mm. y'all want to see that y'all want to see that So I already washed her hair and Leah's shrinkage is so real. Her hair is really, really long. But the shrinkage, let me get a good thick piece. It's pretty long. So I washed her hair already and now we're just gonna deep condition and I'm gonna put a little baggie on. And this is what I used up. I used up the rest of our little protein cholesterol cream conditioner and then i'm about to start riri's hair all right i just washed avery's hair still got a lot of water and stuff on here and her hair got a lot of shrinkage too her hair is really long well but 
there. So that's pretty long for her little self. I'm going to go ahead and start up. I kind of section it off into fours. And I'm going to start apply, applying the protein treatment to her hair too. All right, so we got Riri with her bag on. We got her treatment under there. We'll sit it on for about 10, 15 minutes. Riri, you ready to get your hair done? The avocado banana hair mask that we did on Abe's hair earlier in this vlog. You guys, it was a fail. And you know, it was partly my fault. We need the right ratios. It was a little thinner than I would like. And this is the biggest thing. If you're going to be doing a food mask, man, make sure you strain it. Make sure you strain it to get all the food out of the mask. So I didn't do that. And I was rushing and we got it all over her hair. And then it was food everywhere. <laughs> we got it all out, but it was so frustrating. It was so frustrating. And Abe's like, I'm never going to try this again. I'm like, yeah, we'll try it again. But next time we'll have the right ratios and make sure we strain it probably two, three times because I don't ever, I don't ever want to have to go through her hair and get all that food out again. So that's what we'll do next time we try a mask if it's food based. So my hair goals for all of us is because me, I started my natural hair journey. I want to say maybe eight years ago yep a little over eight years ago after i had my third child leah and i'm still trying to figure some stuff out my hair just grows and grows and grows though i really don't do too much to it my goal is to learn my hair and to um i guess be able to style it more because i i don't take the time out to style my own hair because i have so many girls and then i have another girl on the way so i usually just try to pay uh, you know a little bit of attention more so to their hair but my goals for their hair is to learn each of their textures and to form you know a hair routine specifically more so for their hair instead of just one universal one that may not cater to you know a uh, higher or lower porosity hair or drier you know hair texture because uh, out of all the girls, everybody's hair texture is different. Avi has more of like a wavy type uh, hair texture. Leah has really, really, really tight curls. And uh, her shrinkage, all of them shrinkage is real. But I want to say Leah shrinkage is probably Leah. And then Avery shrinkage is probably up there, especially Leah. And then Avery's texture, hers is really easy to go through. I need to look at the curl patterns and see you know, what kind of hair they have. All of their hair is beautiful. All of their hair is long and thick. The twins, oh my God. So the twins got like the sandy brown, reddish, blondish tone hair, but it gets so dry. So I'm, I'm really trying to learn um, how to keep their hair moisturized and styling it more but the twins is just so hard for me to do their hair because they don't want to sit there and then it's like i'm pinning them down trying to so anybody out there who got some tips and tricks please let me know because i've never dealt with this my kids always sat there and got their hair done but the twins baby it's a little bit different with them like i was saying leah's shrinkage is super super real y'all and then when i stretch it down I'm still holding on to the piece. Her hair goes probably about what? Almost waist length. Almost waist length, I would say. Because here's her little tush right here. So her hair is really long. All right, you guys. So I just did a little quick little style. Did a little braid going around her edges. And then did a crochet ponytail. When we get back home right now, we're rushing off to get them to school. But I'm going to do individual braids and then crochet the twist back in. And then this hairstyle probably lasts her about a week, maybe two, depending on how we wrap. But I do an Avery's hair the exact same way. All right, y'all. I have to get this video out to y'all. But I'll show y'all how all their hair ends up in the vlog ahead. If you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing, 
get your girl a likey like so she knows that you guys are so i know that you guys are enjoying the content comment down below any hair tips any things that's helped you guys with your personal hair or hair for your kiddos um thank you so much for watching god bless you and i'll see y'all next time